Hello, welcome to Bedroom Builds at the From Python to Rust series, episode 16. Write Python inside of Rust, coming from the previous episode where we spoke about how to write a Python module in Rust. Generally, using a scripting language inside your compiled the languages project will be very useful if you want to let users extend your complex application. So inside of a game, for example, you can use a scripting engine to make stuff happen when a user passes a certain level, for example, or uh, computer-aided design applications, like the very well-known Blender is Python scriptable. Other good options is the Lua scripting language that is fairly widely used on open source projects that would be in Darktable, a raw image processor that is Lua scriptable, and a database Redis, for example, uses this in a very powerful way. So you might look into that as well, not just into Python. And in the future, for writing plugins actually, and therefore if you create an API for that, using the WebAssembly and the WASI standard, given the users know how to write a language that can be compiled into WebAssembly, you can give them the chance to extend your software as well. So these are just ideas. As of now, I only found how to basically write the Python within the language, um, how to actually write your scripting will be then up to the user. I found uh, three options. One is uh, using PyO3 and uh, therefore using the API of Python to do stuff. Then uh, there is one that uses PyO3 but allows you to really write code inside your Rust as if it was uh, Python that just appears in your code. And uh, then uh, the third option is the PyOxidizer, which is actually a project that will package a binary of your Python application, but it uses Rust. And in order to reach its goal, they created an, a small module that helps them embed uh, Python. The thing is, they only wrote it up to the point where it did what they needed it to do. So you might look into this. It's an interesting approach, but it is not the Python interpreter in its entirety. Let's look into uh, the first example on uh, the right. You can see uh, the Rust code that mixes with uh, Python code. And on the left, I already have opened the shell because right now there is uh, doesn't make sense to compare Python and Rust code because, well, it is already mixed in the language on the right. So what you will have to do is uh, import the PyO3 stuff necessary to get uh, this going. Then uh, we write a normal Rust uh, main application, right? And then we have our Python run stuff. And here we will have to use the API that is ex exported by the PyO3. So we can use this uh, py import, for example, to import the, the sys module. And then we can actually use sys get version to get the information. This is actually also with error handling and everything included. And uh, this is basically the example from uh, their website, just to so show the proof of concept, how it works. So then uh, they also use the OS uh, module that is imported. And then uh, you can actually write your Python code in a string and then evaluate it using their evaluation method. And at the very end, you get uh, your results in uh, your variables. So you'll have the user coming out of the Python code that is in line 18. And uh, the version is here in 16 with the direct uh, API call. All right, uh, let's quickly run this. All we have to do is uh, cargo run. I already uh, compiled this before. So here it shows us what's going on, right? It will tell us the username with hello bedroom builds, right? Hello gets the username reprinted and then uh, the Python version that is active on my system. Fairly easy stuff. Now I will hop over to another example that now uses this in a much easier to use fashion. It will uh, let you write Python code directly in your Rust code using a macro. This code is now much shorter and easier to use, right? You have this uh, use inline Python thing. Then uh, you can use your own Rust defined variables, but then you use this Python macro call and inside the curly braces, you can write a Python code with uh, certain limitations. 
because this, all of this, this block is uh, real uh, Rust code. So the string marks, for example, the quotation mark, uh, the quotation markers here, they have to be double quotes. You cannot use uh, single quotes because a single quote in Rust is reserved for using single characters and not a string. And uh, there's some other limitations similar to these that you cannot just copy paste all of your Python code. You will have to adhere to those limitations. But this uh, macro magic then uh, decodes your Python code for you into something that actually runs. Let's um, try to run this in the console on the left. So you can see on the left that our Python code is actually using the stuff that we've defined in uh, Rust. So we took the world variable that uh, will be presented here by the who and we get our number five that comes out of here. And uh, with this, you get to write your Python code inside your Rust code. I hope this short introduction into this topic was helpful. Thanks for watching. Coming up next at the From Python to Rust series will be regular expressions.